You got tied up? No. Just me and Oh my god. Girl, I don't know who this mess is you hanging out with, but he is hazardous to your health. That's for sure, but I can't leave him. And why not? He'd get angry. And if he does this to me when he likes me, then imagine what he'd do if he ever got mad. So don't the chump. Find yourself a better guy, somebody that will actually protect you. And we got it all picked up. A little botanical genius. And she ain't talking about George Washington Carver. Seymour? Bingo! Oh no, we're just friends. I can never be Seymour's girl. I've got a pass. And who amongst us has it? Uh, I don't even deserve a suddenly successful sleep. Consider it God like Seymour. <laughs> this child is selfish and loves self image. You have a boy, she have a problem. I know Seymour's the greatest. <laughs> so I got a black eye and my arms in the cast. Still, that Seymour's a cutie. Well, if not, he's got inner beauty. And I dream of a place where we could be together at last. Well, what kind of place is that? Could be an emergency room? <laughs> Not fancy like Love It Tom. Just a little street in a little suburb, far, far from Urban Skid Row. The sweetest, greenest place where everyone has the same little lawn out front and the same little five stone patio out back. And all the houses are so neat and pretty because they all look just alike. Oh, I dream about it all the time. Just me and the toaster and the sweet little guy. Like Sue. A matchbox of a room, a fence, a real chain link, a grill on a patio, disposal <laughs> in the sink, a washerman and a dryer, and an ironing <laughs> machine, and the trap. <laughs> Somewhere that's green. He makes entrance the grass. He loves to mildly. I cook like Betty Crocker, and I look like Donna Reed. There's plastic on the furniture to keep it. <laughs> Between 